Hey friends, welcome back to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me again. And if you're new, hey, hit the subscribe button. Check out the Jersey Concept playlist because I just created it. And if you clicked on this video, you know, chances are you like jerseys or you like Jersey Concepts. And in that playlist, there are 70 plus videos. So if you're new, go check them out, hit the subscribe button. But today we have a very special Jersey Concept uh, video here, continuing this marathon as, as I'm filming this, number four of eight, I believe, in, in our marathon. It is, uh, it, is a, it is a time that uh, many of you may not even know that existed, okay? We're going, we're going way back. We're predating the NHL. We are predating the original six back to a time when there was no NHL. And teams in, in the, what is called the challenge era, era, sorry, not area, challenge era, played for the Stanley Cup. So the Stanley Cup actually existed prior to the NHL starting. I'm not sure if some of you knew that, but uh, that, is, that is true. And... Uh, I believe the first Stanley Cup was awarded in 1893, around there, potentially. But prior to the NHL starting, there are actually nine teams who have won the Stanley Cup, which is kind of crazy to think about. And uh, most of these teams are teams you've never heard of. And, well, one of them might be. Well, you'll see as we continue. But uh, these these designs are done by Dr. Squid. So, you know, right off the bat, amazing name. That's an incredible name. I don't uh, remember what his actual real name is, but he goes by Dr. Squid. And he's provided these these awesome, awesome concepts. Now, I've looked at these. We're going to rank them and have some fun here. So, like I said, uh, one to nine ranked. I'm going to go through them in reverse order and nine to one. If you guys want to come up with concepts like this, you can go to sportstemplates.net. Get yourself this exact template and so many more as well. It's not just about jerseys on the sportstemplates.net site. It spans multiple sports, okay? We're not just talking hockey here. We're talking football and basketball and soccer and so many other sports other than hockey. And if you guys want to come up with a bunch of designs from a different league or something outside of jerseys like helmets or basketball courts or something like that and send them in, man, I will react to them. I will rank them, review them, have some fun. I just love looking at your guys' creativity, your your designs and your, your concepts. So, uh, head on over to sportstemplates.net, use code post to post save yourself 10%, send in your designs, we'll have some fun. Speaking of fun, let's get into this. Starting off with number nine, I have ranked the Montreal HC, Hockey Club. And they this team won three Stanley Cups, as you can see along the bottom there, from 1885 to 1910, which is very interesting. So the jersey itself, it reminds me of the Tampa Bay Lightning, Reminds me of the Toronto Maple Leafs, more so the Tampa Bay Lightning. It is, uh, it is a very basic jersey, and this is exactly what you know. We're going back over 130 years or whatever it's been here. So I expect to see something like this, a very basic, a very minimalistic jersey. Uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a fine jersey. The logo in the front looks like, the, uh, like a Quidditch from Harry Potter, is it? So that's kind of what it reminds me of. Number eight, I put the Montreal Shamrocks. So yeah, there's a couple of different teams within the same city, which is which is interesting. So they've won two Stanley Cups, and I, I do like that color. Like that is a really really cool color. It's almost like a maybe a more saturated version of a mint green, but it's it is very unique. I like it a lot. Would love to see that in the NHL today. That'd be really cool. That specific shade. But the logo in the front kind of looks like a sock <laughs> a little bit. It's okay. It's not too bad, but. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't say that I dislike any of these jerseys. Just these are cool. These are really cool to look at. Number seven, I put the Toronto HC, the Toronto Hockey Club, or the Toronto Blue Shirts, actually. Sorry, it says on the bottom, Toronto Blue Shirts. They, they won one Stanley Cup, and they existed from 1911 to 1917. And I believe they were the last team to win the Stanley Cup prior to the NHL starting. So that's pretty cool. The This is um, very similar to the Toronto Arenas jersey. Yeah, almost identical, really, and that's uh, that's really cool because you can kind of see where that inspiration came from, which is this team, and uh, this is this is this is neat because this jersey actually kind of does exist as an alternate for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So this is a concept, but at the same time, it it is modern and it it, it sort of matches the one that does exist. So I like it. Number six, the Winnipeg Vic Victorias. Uh, three Stanley Cups, and they were in business from 1889 to 1912. This is very close to, I guess it's not really that close, but it looks like a Vegas Golden Knights reverse retro because you've got the, the yellow in there, which could relate to the gold, and then you've got the red. Obviously, the striping is completely different, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. The logo in the middle is actually pretty neat. I like how it, it's very busy, and it is ugly, but it's neat because of all the intertwining uh, 
sections of the letters and stuff. That's that's really cool. So I like to see that. Uh, this is a this is a fine jersey. Number five, I put the Montreal Victorias. So that's there's the Winnipeg Victorias and the Montreal Victorias. Uh, the Montreal Victorias won two Stanley Cups and they existed from 1874 to 1939, which is pretty impressive. Now, this is a cool jersey because, yeah, it's got the, the Montreal red that we're used to, but it's a more almost approaching maroon kind of colored red. It is, it is, it is really cool. I like how the white starts at the neck goes all the way down to the sleeves. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. Number four, the Kenora Thistles. Incredible. What a name. But the colors here, the colors are so cool. Black, red, and green. I kind of envision, you know, if, if the Vancouver Canucks wanted to branch out and take pieces of their history, because they got that red in the skate jersey, which I actually think is behind me in, back there. And uh, then you get the green that, you know, that they use now, and some black as well. They could kind of run with a design like this, or maybe a, a new modern take on their brand uh, and use something like this. But I don't know. I kind of like these colors together. They look pretty good. And uh, yeah, big fan of this one. Number three, the Montreal Wanderers, another Montreal team. Uh, four Stanley Cups for the Wanderers, and they existed between 1903 and eight, 1918. And uh, it just looks a little bit like a superhero jersey because of that shield crest in the middle with a big W on it. But it is nice. It feels like it looks like maybe an off white instead of a white, which is which is pretty cool. So everything's contained in that middle stripe. Uh, it looks pretty good. Number two, the Ottawa Senators. I told you there's a team you might recognize. It is the Ottawa Senators, 1883 to 1954. Interesting. Uh, 11 Stanley Cups. That's that's pretty impressive, 11 Stanley Cups. And, you know, this is a jersey that we've kind of already seen before in a way. It is it is similar to the Heritage Classic. It's similar to the 100 Classic from 19, or, uh, 2017 or 18, whenever that was. And it's it's close to an alternate that they used in the past as well, and I think the is it the Belleville Senators in the AHL, or the Binghamton Senators prior, I don't know. The, there's so many team changes in the AHL, I can't keep up. But uh, I feel like I've seen this jersey before, and I really like it. Like I absolutely uh, love it actually. And I, if this existed as an Adidas jersey, I would buy it instantly. And number one, I put the Quebec Bulldogs. 1878, 1878 to 1920, and they won two Stanley Cups. This is just a neat jersey, so you get the Nordique blue in there a little bit, but you get the super simple striping along the arms, which makes sense for the era. Uh, just a big giant Q in the middle, that's, you know, that's not really that great. But the collar's neat, and it's just simple. Re really good collar combination, and uh, just, just, you know, something different than what I'm used to seeing. So quick video guy for you guys today. Sorry, it's not the typical NHL stuff, but I wanted to get this one out because it was just so neat. I love seeing people think outside the box. I love the NHL concepts. Those are amazing. They take up all the, most of the time on the channel, as you guys know, but it's really cool seeing concepts that aren't jerseys. And if they are jerseys, untypical uh, concepts like from a different era like this or different sports, you know, m mixing basketball and hockey or something like that. I just, I really like thinking outside the box, these designers. So Dr. Squid, I appreciate you sending those in. You're, you're a legend and he sent in some more. I haven't looked at them yet, but he sent in some more from a, a different era, I believe, which is pretty cool. No, they were maybe Olympic jerseys. I think they were Olympic jerseys. A little teaser for the future. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button and we will continue our marathon tomorrow with another Jersey concept video. Take care guys, adios.